All right, so I'm doing this restore for David on a Gale 1954 five horsepower, a Buccaneer, and uh, got her completely restored. Uh, and I can't get her started. I got good spark, good compression, and uh, I pull on it, it won't start. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Here's the there's a knob to open the fuel. Watch that needle rise when I open it. See that needle come up? So I know there's guys getting in here, getting in the bowl, but it's not going, it's not starting. I'm gonna set up my camera and uh, show you how it doesn't start, then I'm gonna shoot some of my pop down the throat here and watch it pop. So I think I got a carburetor issue. I'm gonna show you how to test that and prove that right All now. All right, so I'm gonna try to get it started. Now on these carburetors, you gotta turn this knob here. It pushes down on the needle valve and gives it more gas. That's, that's the choke. All right. Won't start. So I'm gonna spray some of my pop down the throat of it and see, force some gas into it, see if it'll pop. Yeah, it pops. So I know I got fuel in here in the bowl. And I know when I force fuel up the throat, it's so, so the problem must be with the fuel getting pulled up into the chamber and going in. So I'm gonna pull the carburetor off, take her in my shop and take it apart, see if I can find the trouble. Here we go. All right, so I've got the carburetor all dismantled here off of my Gale Buccaneer. Uh, I had cleaned it before I put it on the motor, so I know it should have been clean. But I think I found the trouble. Uh, in order to explain it to you, I'll have to explain how it works. So the carburetor sits on the motor like this, and the fuel comes in through this jet and fills up the bowl, all right? From the bowl, it needs to get into this chamber right here so it can be sucked in to the engine to fire the cylinder. And to do that, there's a venturi. This little tube sitting right in this chamber right here goes down into the body and gets his gas from the bowl. Well, uh, on the newer models, on the newer model carburetors, that Venturi is right here. It sucks the gas up from the bowl, okay? And we can take that Venturi out and clean it, okay? That's the newer models. I'm talking about 50s and 60s. In the early 50s, this was the carburetor, and you can't remove that Venturi. It's part of the body. So I took a welding tip and tried to run it down. into that try to run it down into that tube and couldn't I couldn't so I sprayed it with some cleaner and worked it worked it until I could until I got it that welling tip to run through that tube so that tube was blocked okay that blocked tube was stopping the gas from the bowl to get up into the chamber here to be sucked into the cylinder so that's the most common problem that you have with carburetors is that venturi being blocked and i unblocked it on our carburetor for the five horsepower buccaneer so i'm gonna put it together again go put it on the buccaneer and we'll see if it starts it up here we go
as you can see, that fixed the carburetor. She runs great. <laughs> so that's how you clean the carburetor, the nozzle on a carburetor on a Gale Buccaneer 5 horsepower. <laughs> hope you all enjoyed the video. See well, you all next time. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make at least one video every week. And then go ahead and hit the like button and join the T-Mike fraternity. So if you're this the first time watching one of my videos, I have over 350 videos of everything you need to know about repair, maintaining, and restoring your vintage outboard motors. I specialize in Johnson and Evan Roods, 3 horsepower to 20 horsepower, 1950s, 60s, and 70s. So as I said, I have every video you need to know on how to, how to work on these motors. And if I don't have one, I want you to let me know. Just hit in the comments on one of the videos and tell me what video I need to make and I'll make it for you. I've also got every part you need to work on these motors. I have an eBay store. You can get to my eBay store by Googling T Mike Vintage Outboards or click on the link down below in the description. I have over 2,000 parts in my eBay store. I sell all the hardware. I sell all the kits, spark wires, ignition, magneto uh, components, points, cost condensers, gear case, seals, everything. I even have some printed, uh, 3D printed plastic handle grips and other parts for you. So uh, I have all the videos and I have all the parts you need. I also now am a uh, uh, providing parts manuals. So I have over 150 hard copy parts manuals 1923 to 1958 so you can get your parts manuals from me too. So this is my passion. My goal was to have every video, every part, and every parts manual that you need. And if I don't have what you need, let me know. Uh, you can always call me for technical assistance too. My number is 337-278-5429. Give me a shout out. I love text messaging. I'll try to help you and answer your question. So I enjoy what I do. I hope you're having as much fun as I am working on these motors. Uh, and remember, always remember, and never forget, here at T-Mike's Vintage Outboards, we're doing it one motor at a time. <laughs> See you next video.